This wind is intense, and you can't see past your hand with all the sand. Well? Ginseng was right. The storm won't let us through. I'm sorry. <laughs> Torani, isn't there some other way out of here? Maybe. But that depends on you. We will need to awaken this power of yours. No! I mean, I'm not sure I want to. I will help you, Luke Sao. We can do it together. Torani, you're so nice! <laughs> It seems our fates are linked. Good. Heal bodies and cure souls. So, what do I do? You must meditate. Focus. Let go. Feel the strength flowing from your core, out through each limb and beyond. Feel your life force flow from your heart and through your veins. From your chest, to your arms, to your fingertips. From your center, to your legs and toes. <sighs> The energy within you is augmented by your experience, by the people you know. The power of the world binds this energy within. I... Concentrate and let go. Done it. Ah, I can't hold it for long. You'll get better with time. Even if it's for a short while, you can use this power to dash into the wind. Maybe for you. Scared, huh? That's not... Th that's not what I mean. Now that we're out, I suggest we head to Port Marifa. You should stick with Ajna until then. I suppose we have no choice. Right. Once you can get to the port, you can decide whether you'll help Ajna along her journey, or leave her to die like common beasts. Uh... Don't worry about it, Zebe. You don't have to stay. I'll get us out of here first.
So? What's bothering you? Oops. I guess you can tell what I'm thinking, huh? I can certainly tell what you're feeling. Maybe it will help to talk about it. <sighs> I don't know. I just feel... weird. Why did I get this power and I'm basically holding all these people hostage inside my brain? I'm not their chief or leader or anything like that. I'm just someone who happened to... absorb them. I just wanted to avenge my dad and now everything's all strange. You feel shame because of the death of your father. Guilt for your role in breaking Kala's seal and fear because of your growing power. But all growth is painful, Ajna. What if this growth gets everyone killed? Hmm... If Kala has indeed awakened... Because of me. Because of you, perhaps. But if she has awakened, someone will have to stop her. And far from getting everyone killed, your new strength might be the only thing that can save everyone. Ugh, that's so much pressure! The world won't end if I just... go home, will it? I can't say. We need to learn more about Kala's awakening. Then you can make that choice. How did I get into this situation? Making life or death choices for other people? You may not want to be a leader, but power attracts power, for better or for worse. You can use that power, or you can let it use you. That is your choice, Luxao.
Child, let me offer you some water from my hair. Gross. Gross. <coughs> thank, thank you so much. I thought I was going to die out here. My throat feels so much better. My hair sustains life. It is far more nourishing than regular water. So gross. Shush, Razmi. What are you doing out in the middle of the desert anyway? I am called Kadira. I was following the Imperialist Army of the Iron Kingdom, but I lost them in the sandstorm. Iron Kingdom, huh? They have been a scourge upon my people. Their armies have been taking more and more territory under the guise of protection. My brother was fighting to defend our land, but went missing some months ago. One of our warriors returned with his sword and cape, which I carry now. So you're gonna beat these guys up with your brother's sword? I will not use it until I can return it to him. I can defeat them using my shield alone! Whoa! That's so cool! Where'd you learn to fight with a shield? My grandmother taught me over many years using a basket as practice. Women among my people aren't allowed to fight, but she trained me in secret since I was a child. Wow, just like me! Kinda. When his sword was returned to us, I hid my face behind this wrap to avoid detection, and left the village. I fear he is dead, but I must find out the truth. I was tracking a troop of Iron Kingdom soldiers when the sandstorm hit. I believe they entered the temple, but as you can see, I didn't quite make it that far. Right. We'll help you. Weren't we heading straight for Marifa? But... More dead weight. Dar! This is the first thing you want to say since Sumeru? Come now. We've gotten into enough trouble already. You rush in to help anyone you see. And you only speak up to add something negative. She wants to avenge her brother. I can relate to that, if you get my meaning. Anyway, children, the only way to Marifa is through the temple, so we may as well let her accompany us. There's strength in numbers. I would welcome her. I want to see under your mask. Is your face all weird? Do you have no lips? Let me see... My, my lips are perfectly standard, I'll have you know. I'll believe it when I see it. Let's just take a quick peek. No! Fine, fine. Well, come along anyway. Ajna's gonna absorb you no matter what anybody says. <laughs> welcome, no lips. I have lips. Please stop talking about them. Anyway, we must be wary. People say the temple was suddenly abandoned. Oh, that would explain these markings. It looks like sandworms. Ooh, sandworms. Ajna, can I keep one? Just one little thing for old Rosmi? Well, if we have to go through here anyway, no big deal, right? Nice. Yeah! Time to find out what a sandworm is! Uh-oh. I stand ready. Get out. I've doomed us. Nah, we've been in doomier situations than this. We'll find a way. Oh. 
there.
I'll bury you. That is the tail of a sandworm. It's that big? I thought, you know, worms. Animals in the Almuta Desert region can grow to incredible size. There have been countless studies of their mutations. I can get you the research if you're interested. It's really quite fascinating. Um, maybe later. For now, let's just get rid of it. A quick jab should get it out of the way. A shot from my bow, then. No, Zebe. I'll do it. As you like, but don't expect this to win me over.
It's over! Run! Long ago? 